Hey guys, what's up? It's Rafi AK. Sorry about sorry about something that just happened. I was gonna fully record this again, like earlier, but you know what happened was that my girl called or whatever, so I, it got cut off, and so I have to redo this whole thing because it's from my second camera, and I don't have no video converter that could change it to the format, so that way I could you know put in uh, Windows Movie Breaker. But you know, all right, I'm here and I'm reviewing these two figures right here. Atrocitus from the Blackest Nightline, the first series, and you got Sinestro with the Sinestro Core uniform. Now these two figures are pretty awesome. These are like from DC Direct. They're basically like the Marvel Select, like Marvel Select, what Marvel Selected to Marvel Legends. So um, these don't have that much articulation, but they, their sculpts are like right on point, and they also are kind of e more easily broken too. I had an experience. I, had, I bought the Identity Crisis Batman, and by accident it fell, and the head came off, and I tried to super glue the head back, and like, you know, to try to, like, to do the thing that Manifest Presents, like, you know, kind of recommended for some figures to tighten them up, and it turned, to tighten up joints, but it turns out that didn't work out at all, and they just, like, filled up that section of the head or whatever, so that way I couldn't even put it back right. So, what happens was, I went to Midtown Comics and Forbidden Planet to buy these figures. This one I got in Midtown Comics. I'll give you the addresses to both of them. There's one in Lexington to have and one in Times Square. And also, this one, I bought it for Forbidden Planet in Union Square in, well, because I live in New York, so like, you know, you could get a, you might, if you live around there or if you live in Jersey at least, you might get a good feel of like, you know, of what type of places I might be talking about right now. So, yeah, I bought these two figures. These were like freaking awesome or whatever, like really good representations. The DC Universe Sinestro is cool except for one thing. He doesn't have the exact haircut down because I wanted like I wanted it to have the exact haircut down to like the you know umpt degree. And this one right here, well I'll start off with this one. It's Atrocitus. He's a Red Lantern. The thing about the Red Lanterns is that you know since all the lantern rings they go by different you know. They all go by different colors and different emotions. So green and and blue and maybe indigo are like the ones with the least influence on the person that holds the rings. But you know, this is the one is like it goes by Ruji Biff. So this is farthest away from green. So that means it's it takes control of the person more. This is for rage, obviously, and it's all about you know basically being you know really pissed off and shit and you know. And it's basically about, you know, beating your chest like an alpha male and all that shit. So what so what happens is, you know, there's a, there's a massacre, Sector 666 in the Green, you know, <clears throat> this is like in, before the Green Lantern Corps was even established. So what happened was that the Manhunters, they kind of had a malfunction and they destroyed everything that was alive in that sector. This got him really pissed off. But on top of that, he was arrested by Sinestro, and that really got him more pissed off because he was, like, vengeful also. So here he is as a Red Lantern here. And now this guy, you know, he tried to he tried to corrupt Hal Jordan. He almost completely did it until St. Walker threw down his, his blue ring and then Hal got a hold of it and then, you know, freed him from the red ring. So, yeah. All right, this guy right here. He comes with the um he comes with the stand with the red lantern core symbol. I have the ring too. I could go, you know, I'll go get that, but I'm kinda lazy today. And also he comes with this red lantern power battery right here. It's pretty good too, like it's an accurate representation of it. It I put it in his hand sometimes, but like it apparently tends to fall off. Alright, now getting to the articulation, his hand, you know, it bends like this, but not that much. And his wrists, they never move or whatever. So he's kind of stuck in this position. And if you move it up, just a, if you move it up like quite a bit, quite a bit, like his, like the things for his shoulders, they pop off, but they stay on. They stay on at least. Like from the back, it kind of looks like something from Star Trek. It does. It really does look like something from Star Trek. And the figure's pretty nice. The head moves pretty well. The articulation on the head, it moves up and down decently. It, um, it does move side to side. The face sculpt right there, pretty accurate representation right there. I mean, it's down to, like, all the rips and tears and, like, all the teeth and, like, even the inside of his mouth. 
Like if you could see that too. I don't know if he has a tongue or whatever, but you know, I guess maybe not. I don't know how he talked then. And his finger and his hand too. You can see the red lantern ring right there on his hand. And also you could see on this hand, this is where he holds the lantern, but it's kind of a hard, you know, it's a very difficult task to do if like when I put it up there over there. It's a very like hard thing to do because of the fact that, you know, it kind of doesn't hold it too well. All right, the legs, good articulation, it goes back and forth. It doesn't go back that much. His legs, his, his knees bend, but, you know, as a DC Direct, like I said, it's more on sculpt than anything else. So, like, the ankles, they don't, you know, they don't have any articulation. And, like, you know, the legs don't have that type of articulation. I wish they kind of did, though. And the same thing with the torso. Well, some DC, well, some DC figures, like some DC direct figures, actually have that. Like, if you, if you buy the history of the DC universe, that I think, like they have like a lot of an articulation, like a shitload of it. But they still don't move their legs to the side, like you know, like this. So put this one here. And now to get to Sinestro right here. Now this. Is a pretty good representation of Sinestro. Oh, hold on a second. Gotta check the time here. All right. I at least have three more minutes. All right. Sinestro here. His, this is him when he joined his. He had his own core to combat the Green Lantern Corps. He basically was in contact with in contact with Parallax a lot, and he used that to corrupt Kyle Rayner. Sorry if you haven't read Sinestro Core or yet. That's what happens. And he manages to do the same thing to Kyle Rayner that he did to Al Jordan. Just not in such a dramatic way, but still in a way where, like, he still, you know, gets a good hold on him. A good hold on him. <clears throat> All right. The costume here, it's a very nice paint, like, paint job right here. Really nice paint job. The skin really, he, he kind of looks like Parasite in a way because of, of the skin color. The hair kind of makes him look Nazi-ish, especially... No, the face in general look, look, makes him look a lot like, like a Nazi. And his wrist articulation, all right, his hands are pretty good. You can see the ring right there. Um, the costume, it's even good, like, on that small Sinestro Core sample. Now, um, if you ever read Jeff John's Green Lanterns, like, his run on Green Lantern, you would see how many times, like, he incorporates this, like, when he talks about Parallax, this sign right here. Especially if you look at how Jordan's Parallax is costume. But going back to it, the articulation on the arms, you know, just bend the elbow. Could turn the wrist. Def that's the definite plus, cause I, you know, cause I, you know, this is my first DC Direct figure, so you know, so I was kind of really curious about it, and the way this is set up, it kind of looks weird. I thought it could move side to side, but it doesn't. Um, this joint, when you turn it, it kind of feels like there's a ratchet in it, but there's not. Same thing in here. The joints on this one are kind of stiff or whatever, but there's nothing wrong with it at all. Oh yeah, and the head turns and it goes up and down. It's on a ball joint, I can tell. It's pretty easy to tell. But it doesn't make it so that the figure's ruined because of like that. So yeah. And he comes to, since he's part of the Green Lantern series, not like, not the Black and Night series, he has a Green Lantern, you know, a stand with the Green Lantern symbol on it. It comes with this yellow lantern power battery. The DC Universe Classics one has one that's more accurate to, like, the, the Sinister Core symbol. But, you know, this one is kind of okay, too. But the problem with this one, it kind of popped off already. And he comes with this little virus-y thing. He's a Sinestro, that virus is also a Sinestro Core member, I think. Um, there's going to be another Core member, uh, another Corpsman from another, you know, Lantern Core that actually comes with another member like that, too. There's a few of them, actually. You got Cribe. She's going to come with her two little babies that look like little devils, and you got Larflees who comes with one of the orange lantern constructs that he pops out, out that, you know, pops out when he, when he sends out that army of ghosts to attack people. So, yeah, Sinestro and Atrocitus. Bitter enemies, but definitely good figures when you put them up together. I have them on that little setup up there, you know, on top of, like, my coats and whatnot and shit. So, yeah, I definitely recommend getting these, because these are, like, really cool figures. I'm looking to get um Saint Walker and like any other Lantern Corps or whatever. So I could have like each each main member of the Lantern Corps. So I could have them all set up in that type of way. So yeah, it's Ralph V A K A. And also I'm gonna I'm still gonna have my Jason Todd 809 account set up pretty soon. So I can move all this because I had a few wrestling videos on here. So yeah, 
See you guys around.